Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Friday sit rep. We're kicking it a little bit old school with the stand up at the uh, at the bar routine here because <laughs> I got Dan in studio anyways. Uh, I do want to mention though, we are having our International Women's Day sale still running strong all the way through Monday. So you can use that promo code MAR15, M-A-R-15, save yourself 15% on pretty much everything in stores and online. Uh, so make sure to take advantage with uh, of that. Uh, but otherwise, I got Dan in studio here, like I said, talking a little bit more about the new Tiger 131, uh, which to say the least has, has significant significantly changed its form even since the last time which I mean do you can you even ballpark the amount of tiger tanks that you have built like literally uh, since the since you built your first one do you have any idea how many you've put together I think this is like tiger number 10 yeah, I mean sure. it, it, just talking about different different you know chronological upgrades from the really clunky one which it's limited by parts back, mm -hmm. back in the day I was very limited by what parts I could make uh, 20 years fast forward 20 years parts palette is so much better yeah. But also, we're actually able to do a little bit more Brick Mania specific stuff. We'll get into that too. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, this is like number ten. Every t they're incrementally changing. You know, it's not like a a, a, a progression, a, a straight line progression, because there's certain things that we're focusing on each each different tank. So mm -hmm. the previous Tiger 131 had a rudimentary interior. Had right. the engine, had the the cooling fans, had you know the the radiators, had uh, the, you can put the, the the driver and the radio guy in mm -hmm. there. Uh, totally it, you know, got rid of the whole interior on this one. Okay. There's no turret basket, no nothing. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's designed to be a very nice display model, very playable, um, and working suspension. So, and I should clarify, this is definitely still in prototype phase. <laughs> yeah, if you look at this side, these are wheels. These wheels are, are, are from a previous mm -hmm. iteration of the Tiger, the, the previous iteration of Tiger 131. This is what I was prototyping with until I went and found some extra wheels. So, okay. Um, there were people up in arms about my my wheel choice. Going back to the yeah. old ones, yeah, sure. <laughs> and uh, so it, it actually won't. They won't be. They will be similar to these, but we're doing a. Uh, uh, it's a brand new wheel, brand okay. new print. We're, okay. Uh, new so, artwork. Nice. So so Slam and I have been working on figuring out what we're going to be doing printing because the previous Tiger One Three One we didn't have this sort of UV printing capability right. that we have now. Um, or we did, but it was very limited in, in what we could do. Mm -hmm. We could just print the guy, mm -hmm. and everything else was a sticker. Well, that's changed now. So this is all going to be printed. So there'll be a 131 on here, various unit markings. The, the you know what the actual not to mention a full crew of five custom minifigs, right. which is going to be freaking epic. And the last time we did it, we did a Hollywood crew. So yeah, right. It was it was based on it was like Nor it was like uh, yeah Europe, but in an African t yeah right exactly right. It was it was based on a certain <laughs> movie uh, that that will not be named, but we decided we're going to go with the traditional Africa core. This the Tiger one three one was captured in, in North Africa mm -hmm. uh, spring of nineteen forty three, and we wanted to have a crew that was more representational of what was likely to be that crew. Sure, and I don't think there's any that I know of any documented There's pictures. been some updates, but we've we've got a link actually on the product page for this. If you care to read about Tiger 131's history, nobody uh, updates it better than the people who have it sitting in their in their lobby. So there's links to the Tank Museum website. They, you can go ahead and check they, that out. They write the history like it's their job. Yes, they do. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So lots of cool information there, but obviously we'll we'll talk more about the, the Lego one itself. But yeah, so Africa Core crew. Yep. So that so th this has been like an evolutionary like what do we want to change? We, I was my plan originally was just like oh, we're just going to update a few p things here and there mm -hmm. uh, from the previous kit, and I sat and looked at it like man this is really looking its age, mm -hmm. and it may not to like if you've just started looking at Brickmania models you may they may hey that's great but that tiger is more or less the silhouette of that tiger is the same tiger that we've been making since like 2012. Sure. So okay. ten, a ten year old design uh, that was j recolored to make. 131. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'm going to go fix all the fix all the things that, that I could improve on it. And it ended up being almost, well, not even almost. It's an entire rebuild. Mm -hmm. Well, especially if you're ditching the interior and adding suspension, I can't imagine that there's much left other than like the basic shape. Well, once and well, once I got started, even the basic shape went out the window. Sure. Okay. So, so the, I, I, and I, and I, and I had to make the digital file for this. So when we make instructions, we do a digital 3D model of it. And I was, you know, original plan was like, oh, this is going to be a breeze. I'm just going to update. I'll use the old model. There's like five pieces. <laughs> you know, I was able to take the air cleaner hoses from the previous one because I just didn't want to invest a whole lot of time in it. Mm -hmm. But that's about it. <laughs> it's a complete, like, everything. Uh -huh. So, I mean... So, yeah, let's, let's walk through it. What were some of the major changes? Well, the, the hull, the hull, the upper hull, I mean, the lower, it's all, it's all mm -hmm. new. The hull. Uh, here, I mean, we, we, let's, let's flip it over and look at the bottom. Um, changes had to be made to make the uh, suspension work. Four of the eight bogies on each side mm -hmm. are sprung, which means they have a, a, 
uh, an actual rubber mechanism right, that, that makes, makes it bounce. So a, tor to speak. A, a torsion, a torsion suspension, torsion bar suspension, just like the real thing. I didn't do them all. What I've been finding is when I spring all the wheels on some models, you start pushing it down. It actually, it's so resistant. It's it, like doesn't, it, yeah. it, it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to like actually <laughs> compress. Too much suspension. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's too. It's too. Too hard of a suspension. So mm -hmm. I, I did every other one basically. Um, so the bottom is completely new. The upper hull is completely new. Um, just I was looking at you know. It, this is a really well documented tank plus these early tigers mm -hmm. are really well documented So I went back to all my source material and started comparing the 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 131 kit that we had and I was like, well, you know, this is more of like a later tiger Sure configured this so I, I Changed a lot of stuff moved some hatches around to where they where they're supposed to be the the antenna that we've had on our tiger forever and ever for the early tigers wrong spot no. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to completely redo that. Mm -hmm. uh, redid the turret bustle. Mm -hmm. The turret bustle we had was like, yeah, it's huge. It's like from a later tiger. Let's let's get rid of that. Make it make a turret bustle like the early tigers had. Um, turret is completely new. Um, got rid of some of the parts that were kind of rare and, and hard to deal with. Oh, okay, with. sure. Um, and then made the you know did the roof slope, did the, mm -hmm. the all these things built in the things that people were having difficulty with. Um, on the previous versions, I, I actually made it a lot simpler. A little simplified. Okay, cool. Uh, sturdier. Simple is not necessary. Simplified doesn't mean it's a step backwards. It's actually a step forward. Sure. So built, rebuilt, rebuilt, rebuilt. Some of these things I would spend like three, four hours rebuilding the same 20 pieces until I was happy with. with <laughs> like, oh, it's got to come together the way it comes together. Yeah, right? and there's a certain thing like as of yes, yesterday afternoon, I was like, all right, I can't, I got to put this thing down. There's, mm -hmm. there's a certain amount of like I'm putting hours into it and having diminishing returns of what yeah, like, right. actual improvements are. So um, the sort of the big. The, the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the, sure. The 3D printed parts. Mm -hmm. So I, some people on social media. Um, it's a preference, right? But at the same time, I just I just do want to say that remember that you know we have lots of options, including instructions for older models. There are lots of ways to get your hands on other Brickmania kits as well, even outside of us, if you really want to. Um, but this is one of those things where it's like if you don't like it, don't buy it. It's just, that's just right. the, the fact of the matter. There's a lot of people out there that are excited about seeing these new elements, about seeing something that's closer to realism than really anything that we've been able to achieve in the past. Let them have their day and you can have your opinions and everybody can just continue to, to be in the community <laughs> and be happy about it. So some of that stuff, you know, I'm sorry, I don't mean to get on my soapbox here, but some of that stuff is just kind of like, who, who has the time? You know what I mean? Right. Like, enjoy it for what it is or don't, but just leave it alone at that, man. So, well, yeah. we're, we're, we're pushing an aesthetic that's like, you know, die, die cast quality, um, mm -hmm. you know, premium top shelf. We're talking like, you know, the, the sort of stuff that you, you would treasure. And that's what we want to make. Mm -hmm. We want to make this a super special kit. If you're going to go to the, you know, the, the tank museum and buy one of their tanks, you've got options. You, there are other companies, mm -hmm. other brands that, you know, uh, follow on brands to Brick Mania that are more affordable. Mm -hmm. um, you know, quite frankly, and we're fine with that. Right. That's not what we're aiming for. Um, we're aiming for uh, a good value, but also like, you know, you're getting a premium product. Mm -hmm. And part of that premium product is delivering some, you know, pushing the limit on what we can do. Absolutely. And like, why would we settle for the same thing we've been doing for the last 10 years? Because Lego hasn't given us any options that are better. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we we can incrementally improve the Tiger barrel only so much before like, hey, there's just nothing in Lego that's gonna, gonna, gonna help. Take and it we've been further. using our own muzzle brake on the Tiger for like, what, the last four or five years. Right. So, um, I mean, it's already that we that 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 ship sailed a long time ago. Mm -hmm. We've been, you know, adding adding custom parts. So cu new custom elements. This gun, three pieces, right? It's a three piece gun. Yeah, yeah the muzzle brake is separate. This is all Lego type connections. Okay. Um, so you're like a Technic type connection. You can't. This muzzle brake will not like skew to the, you know, right. a, a weird angle like our previous one could. <laughs> um, it's only it has to be in this way. Um, it, it's it's a combination of Lego parts. And brick mania parts, so there is some Lego pieces in there holding, it all, yeah, holding okay. it all together. They're inside; you just can't see them. Mm -hmm. um, the barrel is cool. You can actually pose the barrel either in this would be like the battery position, ready to fire, or you can actually recoil it. Oh so, wow! So Seriously, it, it's Sweet. it's posable. It's kind of cool. Um, so that's a three. That's a new piece. It's three parts. It's 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 an amazing. That is just amazing work of art in itself. Mm -hmm. um, we did a new drive sprocket. Um, just because, you know, with a Lego, you could, sure, a Lego 24 tooth gear would work just fine. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't, on the real tank, it doesn't look like a Lego 24 sure. tooth gear. So we decided to make our own drive sprocket, which is right here. Um, in there, that's the drive sprocket. 
I could have done the the uh, the tensioner roller in the back, but I decided not to. Mm. So this one's a little more prominent too up front when you're when you're looking. It's, it's at more it specialized. Too. Yeah, it, it's it's definitely more specialized. I mean, on the real tank, the the, the rear one, you, you can't hardly even see it. It's so far <laughs> inside the track, you can't mm -hmm. even, you can't even hardly see it. Um, and then a the last minute addition, we yeah. use smoke grenades. Uh, camera guy made me some smoke grenades launchers because I couldn't. You know, this has been a struggle. If you you know, mm -hmm. with with all the military builders, not just you know. I'm not unique, it's not unique to me, to getting a realistic looking smoke grenade launcher mm -hmm. with using traditional Lego pieces. They're either too big or you can't get the right angle. So. Right, what I think, what we've seen a lot of is, you know, people use the binocular piece and either stacked on top of a knife or something like that in order to kind of achieve that effect. And yet when you do that, it, you, you know what people are going for, but then if you look at the real thing, it's like, that's about five times the size right. of a smoke, a smoke grenade. Right. Yeah, so. I think that might be a new thing that we will explore the smoke grenade launches because this is this works great. I mean, mm -hmm. this is very Tiger specific, but yes. I think this and early early Tiger specific, we could we could definitely go with some uh, you know variants and upgrading on that. So mm -hmm. that's that's a direction we could easily go in the future. And uh, worked out well for this. Um, I did actually manage to get some of the cabling on the. On the yeah, on that's the a nice new addition too that we've seen across a couple of them. Right. The I mean. I'm not complaining about these new parts coming out. It gives us lots of new yeah. options. So as long as they keep coming out with these zip line pieces, I'm going to keep using them. <laughs> you know, we used, to, we used to use string in the past, mm -hmm. like the, the Lego string with the studs on the end. That has become so hard to get. And, yep. and, and it's so unpredictable when, you know, Lego is going to discontinue a certain item. And it goes away for years, and it comes back. And mm -hmm. it, like, you know, it makes it really difficult for us to do it. No consistency. Uh, right. These these plastic rubber parts mm -hmm. seem to be here to stay, so I'm, I'm happy and uh, available in enough quantities that we can get them regularly. It's, 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 it's a nice thing. Uh, I am not complaining. Yeah, no, uh, it, look, it looks really good. It does kind of add a, a nice detail to it. It makes it look more, you know, I would say in-country, but it just kind of just has that look of, you know, more active service. So right, right. I could have put some stuff on the side, too. There, there are cables on the side. I was like, okay, <laughs> enough is enough. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't go too full cable. Uh, right, right. Um, the... The, if you have the previous, own, if you're owning the previous version, you'll know that the turret will not turn with the, the hatches open, mm -hmm. and you have to actually like turn the turret into a certain place to to close them. Yeah, this is not the case. You can this this. I mean, I do I got big fat fingers, so um, I'm moving the turret out of the way and the gun out of the way to open. Okay, it. you can you can lay these oh, nice. these hatches yeah. down. That was one thing. Was like that will always bug me about our previous tigers. Like it's it's stuck in between the. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to like position everything just right, and it just barely clears. And mm -hmm. I redesigned the turret so that it actually cool. Um, and I put it in the right position. I realized our turret was a little bit too far. A little back. too far back. Interesting. Yeah. So that was you know it's kind of a revelation when you go to go back to a set of plans that you haven't looked at in, in ten years. Then you're like, what was I thinking? <laughs> but. Compared to the previous version, it mm -hmm. was a hundred times better. Right, and that's what it just continues to do is improve yeah. each time, and you notice new things and get a little yeah. bit closer to, to that accurate scale. And this is definitely the the next step in that evolution for sure. Right. And there's a certain level of like, you know, uh, when you're building a model after a certain point, like, all right, I've done enough. Mm -hmm. I, I can't keep. I can keep tearing it apart and rebuilding. Keep tearing it apart, and rebuilding. But at a certain point, I have to deliver a finished model. Mm -hmm. um, and so in the past, I could have kept going. But, you know, at the end of the day, after maybe two weeks of futzing around with a model, like, <laughs> All right, I can't, I just, keep, I, I want to throw this thing against the wall. I'm, I'm tired of it. Um, mm -hmm. So this, this came together. This is like, what, 48-hour model. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm super happy with it. There's, there's a bunch of printing on here that's, that you guys are going to love. Um, there's a little tiny box on the back here that's, it's, it's, you go to the museum and they're like, hey, look, ours has this unique little box on here. Like, cool. But well, we decided to add it to the tank. Yeah, I mean, it's the it, tank museum tank. Yeah, so, so we, we put it on there. I was going to try to get the, uh, the jack on here. And if somebody really wants to, they can put the jack on the back. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's just, just take the jack off the Panzer IV or the Panzer III and, and throw it on there. But um, <laughs> I, I, I got to a point where, like, ah, I'm not even bothered. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm done with this model for now. Well, and I think people are going to be, uh, especially fans of 131 and the Tiger Tanks in general, I think they're going to be pleased with these improvements. And then given all the customization, it's definitely going to stand out uh, next to the rest of your collection. And even better, you can use that promo code MAR15, M-A-R-15. Save yourself 15% on this and everything else in your order all weekend long. And then don't forget, we got another Minifig Monday coming up on Monday as well with the uh, with the rest of those restocks. So stay tuned uh, for more info there. Anything else you want to talk about this? No, this is, this is another one of those, like, display pieces, mm -hmm. the museum type piece. You're, this is... Something that's going to be, you know, you're going to be proud if you if you put this in your collection. 
uh, you're going to be proud on it, just like the last one. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is another step. This is evolutionary step forward. Um, if you have the last one already and get this one, you will you will appreciate like wow, this is this is. <laughs> I thought the first one was cool. This one is really cool. They continue to surprise. So yeah. Well, there you have it, Dan. Thank you for joining me on this cool throwback sit rep. Uh, otherwise, we will uh, check in sometime next week. And thank you very much for watching.